Hey guys, this is Ruben at Competition Accessories. We're out back behind our receiving dock. I'm going to talk to you about the Ride-On Tire Protection System. This product's a little bit different than uh, some of the other tire sealants out there. It does two things for you. One, it's going to prevent flats from happening if they occur in the center ridge of your tire. Basically, this product is going to spread uh, the centrifugal force of the wheels spinning as you go down the road. is going to spread this product around the crown of the tire on the inside. So basically, uh, the entire center of your tire tread is going to be protected from flats. It's also going to hydrodynamically balance your wheels. Basically, the way that works is you put so many ounces of this product in, there's a dosage calculator on the website that you can check to see how much of this you should put in your tires. And then that's basically going to balance the wheels as you go. So it continually balances the wheels and tires as you ride. What we're going to do here, we've actually uh, shot a few different pieces of footage with this bike with wheel weights, with balanced wheels, without wheel weights, so you can see kind of how much vibration there is with no wheel weights at all. And then we're going to actually install this, see how smooth the ride gets, and then we're going to do another thing, we're going to do a puncture test, see how well it protects against flats. And uh, as we get on the freeway here, hoping that I'll be able to demonstrate or show what uh, my tires or how well balanced my tires are there uh, they were balanced on a static balancer I actually uh, did that myself so they were they were pretty well balanced um, you know, it rides nice and smooth at highway speeds So I don't know if you can see, but depending on the speed, oh yeah, really shaking quite a bit there. You see my gauge is shaking. Again, tire balance is something that's pretty difficult to show on a video, but, uh, you know, as you can imagine, you can feel it. So, you know, through the bars, in your mirrors, you can see and feel the vibration. And uh, obviously that's just, one, going to contribute to rider fatigue, and two, it's just not as uh, comfortable of a ride. So um, we're going to go ahead and put the ride-on sealant in the tires and uh, see how well the, it does as a balancing agent as well. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to install this at this point. This product comes with a hose if you buy it in the bottle. It comes with a small uh, clear hose so you can insert these, you know, insert the product into your wheel, and it comes with a valve uh, core remover. So you'll be able to remove your valve core. So we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and install this into the bike and see how it goes. Okay, so we're getting ready to install the ride-on protection system into the rear tire here. We've used the dosage calculator on the website to calculate that this tire needs between 10 and 13 ounces of ride-on tire protection. They actually give you either a standard dosage or a heavy duty dosage. Heavy duty is going to be preferred if you do a lot of um, dual sporting, off-road riding. Uh, if you're likely to get more punctures, that type of riding. It's also really, uh, it's best to use a little bit on the higher side if you're gonna run without wheel weights. Uh, they recommend using one quarter or 25% or more um, from the lower scale end of the scale if you're going to run without wheel weights the extra product is basically just going to help balance the wheels a little bit better one thing that's unique about ride-on is it's a gel and it's actually a uniform substance i don't know if you can see it here they've tested this product in a centrifuge 
at 180 plus miles an hour for extended periods of time and it doesn't separate. Uh, some of the other products that you see out there will actually separate the different, <clears throat> the different parts of the liquid that compose the uh, product will actually begin to, to come apart and uh, obviously that's not going to be effective. The other thing that's great about Rhydon is it's actually water soluble, it's biodegradable. So once it is in your tire, it's going to coat the crown of the tire, which is basically just this center portion. So it's not going to help you if you get punctures on the sidewall or anything else uh, on the edges of the tire, but the center of the tread, is, which is obviously where you get most of your punctures, is going to be protected and it's going to stay there. When the tire gets removed, it actually stays inside the tire. It's not going to make a huge mess. You're not going to have problems with your uh, mechanic getting all mad at you for uh, making a huge mess inside your wheel. And it's, like I said, it's uh, washable. It comes right off with water. You can just basically rinse it out. So that's a definite plus. <clears throat> As I said, they include a valve core remover. So this comes with your uh, bottle of Rhydon. And to remove your valve core is very easy. Basically, there's a notch in your valve core remover. You're going to obviously remove your valve cap and then you're going to line up that little notch with the valve and then you're going to just turn and you should hear the air is starting to escape and once you completely remove the core your tires are going to just deflate. So now that our tire is completely empty, there's no air left, we're just going to set our valve core off to the side so we don't lose it. As I said earlier, they uh, include a hose. One thing you do want to make sure of is that the valve stem is between the 10 o'clock and the 2 o'clock position. So you basically just don't want it up on the uh, upper side of the, of the wheel. Obviously if you did that then you'd be just making a mess inside your rim. So we're just going to put our valve stem right here and then you just slide your uh, hose over your valve stem and we're just going to insert the product. Okay so once you've got the proper dosage of Rhydon in your wheel you're going to want to either take some compressed air and blow out the excess product that's in the valve stem itself or if your tire is flexible enough you can actually just squeeze it a few times and that's going to suck the remaining product down inside the tire. So once we've done that we're going to go ahead and reinstall our valve stem and then we'll go ahead and inflate the tire. So we're going to go ahead and inflate this tire back up to about 34 psi. We have our uh, road gear programmable tire pressure gauge. This thing's actually pretty neat. It's got a swivel head on it. It has an LED light that you can use if it's uh, dark out. And you can actually program it to have a target PSI um, for different bikes. So uh, that's kind of a neat feature. It's also, my favorite thing about it, it's real easy to get in and reach the valve stem with it. Okay, we've got the rear tire aired up to 36 PSI. And we're going to go ahead and uh, you need to take the bike for a ride about four to six miles after you do the uh, initial filling of the ride on. And uh, we'll go ahead and do that, get the tires balanced, bring it back and do some puncture tests. Okay, we have filled the front and rear tires of the... Uh, bike here with ride on and now what we need to do is take a four to six mile little loop to uh, go ahead and evenly spread the product within the tires our trip meter is right at 85 miles so we will uh, go ahead and put five miles on these tires and see how well the ride on system actually balances the wheels for us well, we're only one mile into the ride. We're now at 86.1 miles on the trip meter. And uh, I was expecting a lot more, you know, odd vibrations when I first, 
you know, got going because you would expect it to pull up on one part of the tire where you installed it and, uh, and it would take a while to smooth out. But to be honest, I didn't really notice anything at all. It just, uh, when we took off from the parking lot, got on the freeway and it's running smooth. So I'll give it a few more miles here. Okay, so we are now running down the freeway at uh, 80 miles an hour approximately and um, we, again we have no wheel weights on the tires at all all we have is the ride on tire protection system in both the front and rear of the bike and if you remember earlier in the video I showed you what it was like to ride without wheel weights my gauges were shaking headlights were shaking and if you look now it's rock solid. It has really smoothed out the ride completely. I, I actually think it's, it's actually smoother than it was with just wheel weights on, which is, uh, that's really impressive. It's surprising. But I mean, I'm running down the freeway, again, 80 miles an hour, completely smooth. So we're going to head back to the office here and uh, see how well it does as a sealant. Okay, so we've tested the balancing performance of the ride-on system. Now we're going to see how well it does with nails. We've got a board here. I'm going to run it over a few times. We'll see how it holds up. six holes in this tire so far. We're going to go ahead and check the tire pressure and see what we're at. We're actually 37 and a half. So as the tires warmed up, it's gained a, a pound and a half of pressure, which obviously means it hasn't lost any. Pretty impressive stuff. So the nail didn't do the trick. Let's see if a drill does. Okay, so as you saw in the video, we, uh, we've run six nails through the tire. We actually drilled two holes in it. It did leak some air out when the tire, when the tire was still, but as soon as I started riding, the sealant actually came out and it's plugged the holes. And you can see some of it sprayed up, but it is water soluble, so we'll be able to wash that off real easily. But it has actually sealed the tire. You can see the holes where it punctured this tire multiple times. I can only think of one other thing to do with this tire. All right, we've put nails in this tire. We've drilled holes in this tire. We just can't kill it. So we're gonna try one more thing.
terrified. I think we killed it. She is still smoking.